Alright, so we have the GUI ready. Now we want to program the button. So first we need to implement action listener. Okay. So we need to import that. So let's talk about when you implement action listener, this is called an interface. What are we gonna talk about interface after this? Unit five. What's an interface? An uh, interface. We were talking about it last class. It's normally you do X tense, right? Your J frame, your pin is J frame. Like we said, how about we want to have many forms, right? Like your pin pad can have the actions. So we make it to listen to actions, right? Actions can be many forms. So one of the form is for the button. So the for the button we use action listener. We they can have many forms like on mouse move mouse hover too, right? So but we want to learn the basic which is action listener for the buttons. Now when we do the interface you're required to implement the methods name. Action perform that method. So that means you implement the action listener, then you make your pin pad be able to do some actions, right? Which you require to implement the action perform methods. Okay, and this is a question that uh, somebody asked was overriding here. Override means you like in the interface, remember interface is we talk about the method doesn't have to be implemented yet. You only have the method header, right? And then you're going to have to import that to implement right here. So you overwrite the method here. So that's what it is. So now we are ready to add the action to the button. So, like for example, I have the button clear here, right? I need to add the actions to this button. I need to make this dot add action listener because I implement action listener I want this to listen right listen to the action on the pin pad class when I do this that means it's going to listen to this action performed here right so what it's going to do Let's say I'm going to set the. I why do I do C clear right? It's going to reset the text right. On my what's the name of my text? J T X. Uh, I think this is password right. So J P W. Pass passcode. Dot. Maybe we want to clear it. Do we have reset or clear? If we don't have that, we can just set text to to maybe empty text, right? Like that, right? So just clear it. So let's test. So let's run the demo here to test. I type something. Clear. So my button works now. See that? But f work for C because I only programmed the C. So let's review one more time to make buttons to make actions onto it. You implement action listener, right? Then you require to implement the methods that add the method to implement and then what you want to do you want to make sure which buttons you want to do we set the clear button you add li actual listener to it then when it's hit it's clear right now the same thing if you want to add actions to different buttons then you need to just do like when it hits zeros 
it has to show the pin right show up jbt number dot set right uh, dot add right action listener to this it may listen to the same thing so if I leave it like that what happens so that means both of them could be a reset right because I did the same thing now to this things this we can use if to help now if that's why we have e the action event based on what events right if the event is the zero then we have to show zero not right e dot get yeah either get source if you get source that means you get the name of the object but if you get action command that means you get the uh, the labels like the label c like that if you get source, you get the name of the object. So since the object I sharing the same name, then it better idea to do get. Unless you have the JBT clear, JBT zero, JB right, then that you can do get source. So let's see if I do get action command dot. This is gonna be returning a string, so we can do equals. If it's equals to C right then we do reset correct now if we gotta do else if right if it's equals to uh, we do zero here right then now you can start to perform concatenating the correct pi uh, enter pin input something like that like I'm going to say int input pin right or enter pin then you start to concatenating that then we can just use that for validation and then you just do jpw password dot uh, passcode right get text let me do it goes to oh but remember this this is a string right we may need to do convert that later or just compare the string right so otherwise it's error Alright, so let's test then. So after I enter pin, I'm going to make it to show the input pin to see if it works, right? It should show my zero, correct? On the command here. It's show no. So let's see what happened. Oh, we want to set that too, right? We also want to set the. That's why it's no. We didn't set it yet. <laughs> Correct. <coughs> Dot set text right set text to input pin mm, one second we don't set text to input pin we set text to the zero because we know that's zero correct correct Okay. So
so it's four zeros concatenating to it. Now null because I need to set it to empty text and it's not going to be null. Make sense? So we get zero out and pin enter there. Said when we use the string earlier doesn't work. We have to use string builder, right? Change it to string builder because we want to append that we can store the pin like that. So we just use input pin dot append, right? With zeros, and we set text. So we gonna do the same with one. I'm gonna show you to this one. Of course the system dot out here we don't really need it. I only have it there just to to check if our program works fine. So one uh supposed to set to input pin, right? to string because this is the string buffer right so let's test with that one get action command doesn't know one zero zero works clear works now when we clear we supposed to reset your input pin too right so we need to put the uh, curry braces now because it's more than one statement. So in put pin supposed to be clear too, correct? Uh this is the spring buffer dot set. How do we clear how do we reset the How do we re reset the string buffer? Delete. Yeah, we can do that too. Or can we delete? Start from zero to the. Is it length? We talk about. Yeah, is it right? It should be length, right? Capacity is the size. Now let's see why one doesn't work. Remember, one happened to. After we create, we add. After we create, we add. It's say equals to one, right? So we start from one here. Oh, I never add the actions, right? Remember, you have to add the action listener every time. So we for loop, we it's good. We just add once. It's going to add action listener for all of the buttons, right? So let's test now. Zero, one. There you go. So it's hold the right data out, right? So that's my pin. Very right, clear. So I need to s display that to check if it's really clear because we use delete, right? And now this should be easy now. You can just. Do this for two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, right? Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So just change this to two, <coughs> three, four. I'll 
I think that should 